Hello uh, and welcome to Big Orbit's unboxing video of, of the, the new Force, Force of Will set, The Twilight Wanderer. My name is Simon, I'm joined today by James. Hello, I'm James. And we are going to open an entire box of Force of Will. Yay! I'm quite excited for this. I do. <laughs> this set is really cool. So, I'm going to crack the spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each booster. We'll go through the commons and stuff and explain uh, and just have a little detail about each card. But we are just focusing on sort of opening the box up and showing you what's inside if I can open the box. Oh yes, I forgot about these things. Yes. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, one of six, isn't it? Yes, I go. think so, yeah. Alice Fairy Queen. Yeah, so this is kind of cool. It's just, uh, it's just a neat little couple thing to have. If I remember right as well, you can use it to yeah. stand up in there. Yeah. There's a little slot. There's a little slots inside, but and also I'll you can just with that. collect all six if you want to do because they are quite nice. Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah, so um, yeah, I'm not going to set it all up. So we'll just start going through the packs. So our first pack. So Twilight Wanderer, by the way, is the second set of the new Alice cluster for Force of Will. Uh, and has some very interesting cards in it. So, we'll go right from the top. Oh, we'll take oh. this out. <laughs> Which is part of the PowerPoint um, program, I believe. Willpower. Willpower, there we go. PowerPoint, like a you know, presentation. <laughs> so, first card up. Water attribute, laying the foundation. So it's two will to play. It's an instant chant spell. I Words, I can't believe I just butchered that. First card in, I'm already <laughs> ruining it, I'm sorry. So, its ability is draw three cards and put two cards from your hand on top of your main deck in any order. Just a nice simple draw mechanic. Yeah, it's really good considering you can do it on your opponent's turn. Nah, so if you're all out of options, just check the top three. Yeah, it's an instant. Always do it in your opponent's turn, never do it in yours, unless you're that desperate. Then we have a Flamewing Wyvern. Uh, this is a 600 attack and defense resonator with flying, and he has fire breathing, so pay one fire attribute to give him plus 200 attack until end of turn, and you can pump him repeatedly, and he's three, three will to drop on the field. So, simple. Yeah, you can get him higher though in this set with the dragon support. Ah, uh, dragon support. They're, they're following Bushy Road, that's why. <laughs> So we have these actually look like dragons, you see. And then, yeah, <laughs> and they're not draconic dragon dragon there's. <laughs> so we have the Fairy of the Lake. It's our first fairy, which is a tribal theme we're going to see in this set, if I remember right. She's a light attribute, resonate uh, fairy, 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 with flying, 500 attack, and 500 defense. I really like her. She's probably going to be an Arla, my Arla deck. Oh. Here we have the mass produced giant landmine. It's just two colorless world to play. It is a resonator, not 100 with uh, defense. It has stealth. When a J resonator you control is attacked, while well, this card is in your chance standby area, of course, you can play it without paying its cost if its stealth condition was met. When it enters the field from a chance standby area, it deals 1000 damage to a target attacking J resonator. I think this is going to be quite useful. There's a lot of J resonators out there who swinging for big numbers. Mm. Uh, I get the feeling I might be using this against your resonator, <laughs> J resonator, perchance. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not no, J resonator. <laughs> so here we have Dark Alice's Familiar. Dark Alice is a, a big part, big component of the story in this set. Uh, it's a darkness attribute, just costs one will to drop, 300 attack, 200 defense. Um, it's a shadow slash bat. Um, when it enters the field, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is another Shadow Resonator, put it into your hand. A little bit of extra draw, you know, as long as your deck's themed towards shadows. Yeah, a lot of Dark Alice decks are just, I think, nearly every Resonator is a Shadow. So, so there we go, so nice bit. Nice, good early game drop for that one. So we have Nimue. 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 Yeah. Uh, anyone who's watched my videos knows I can't pronounce to save my life. So, Nimue the Fairy, she's a resonator, light attribute, two will to drop, um, flying, and she has awakening, so one, white, uh, one light attribute, uh, light will, sorry. When this card enters your field, put a target card named Protection of the Fairies from your graveyard into your hand, and other fairy J resonators you control get plus zero, plus two hundred defense. Maybe we should also, because Force of Will is still quite new, that 
Awakening means you pay it as soon as it comes on? Yeah, so Awakening is as soon as it comes into play, you can use the Awakening ability, isn't it? Yeah, and it can be played from anywhere unless it has Enter as well. Yeah, Enter, um, for those unfamiliar or those who aren't aware, the if it actually says Enter as a bolded word, that means that only when it's played from the hand. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so awakening ability here on this fairy lady, she's good, she's pumping your other fairies and your J resonators, so in a fairy deck this is going to be a staple. We have Dark Melgis, the Shadow Flame. So he's um, four, to, four will to play, uh, he's another shadow, thousand, thousand, and he has awakening one fire, when this card enters your field it deals a thousand damage to target resonator. Overkill. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, unless it's another Dark Malgus. <laughs> yeah, because this is with the uh, uh, meant for the Alice deck, Dark Alice, um, the Schrodinger can tap for any attribute. Mm. And it's a uh, regalia, so you can just bring it out. And so it's a fire attribute isn't too bad. There we go. Hey. Hey, we have the reprint Guinevere, the Jealous Queen. So this is a reprint from. Faria and Malgus starter deck. There we go. But with brand new artwork. So she's only one um, fire will to drop. She's a resonator. She has tap. Banish resonator is a cost to draw two cards and discard a card, also known as looting. Or one fire and tap to give target resonator plus 400, plus 400 till end of turn. But if it deals or is dealt damage this turn, you banish it. So, Gwyneth sees a lot of play. Yeah, some people even say she's the best card at the moment. The best. Yeah, because you can. Gonna Cheshire's be good. Cheshire best. Cat's always good. Yes. But Guinevere can be used multiple times, and if you target her, you can just use her ability on herself. Yes, because it is banish a resonator, not another resonator. Yeah. So she can banish herself to draw two cards, which will probably be another Guinevere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is a reprint, but with brand new artwork. The originals, she's in a very, very different dress, outfit, hair, everything. It's like a whole different person. So. There we go. Then we have Vivienne. Vivienne? Vivienne. 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 Lady of the Lake. So, three will. Resonator, it's a fairy, if you couldn't guess from the artwork. She's flying and rest. Put a fairy resonator with total cost, one or less from your hand into your field. Whenever a fairy resonator enters your field, fairy J resonators you can draw it, plus 200, plus 200 to end of turn. And she's 500 attack, 700 defense. So, good for the fairy decks. Yeah, and as you'll notice, it's J Resonator. The new Alice Fairy Queen is a fairy. <gasps> the so. Fairy Queen's a fairy? <laughs> My well, God! I mean, she doesn't look like a fairy. <laughs> no, she, she really doesn't. <laughs> and her eyes are the same colour. <laughs> so, yes. But no, again, I think pretty much if you see a fairy in this set, it's going to go in the fairy deck, isn't yeah. it? And then ooh, we have here a Foil September Hair. So this is going with the Alice theme. Um, it's a 100 attack, 500 defense, water resonator. It's only a one will drop. And then it's one water will to put a tea, tea party counter on each Insomniac, Dormouse, Saint Hatter, and September Hare you control. And then rest if there are two or more tea party counters on this card. Draw a card if you do remove all the tea party counters from this card. So this is meant for the Alice from the previous set, Alice the Valkyrie of Fairy Tales and Alice the Saint of Healing. So it's just to give her a bit more fairy tale support. Oh, okay, so just to help out the previous Alice. Yeah. So Should we so, put, maybe put the fours in a separate? Okay. So we see SRs and Rs can go in a separate pile, and then fours can go there as well because they're pretty. So, oh, look at me failing to open a booster. Oh. And we get the will point. So we have, first of all, Mechanical Knight. Two colorless to play, 600, 600. Uh, he's a knight of the round table. Pay one. This card gets target attack until end of turn. And he's a machine. And he's a machine, which, sorry, yes, should have pointed that out because it is important for machine decks. And um, with this, uh, you can also use Percival to get him up. Because uh, he's a knight of the table. Yep. Yes, so that's quite a nice one to maybe slot in. We have Protection of the Fairies, which was referenced earlier. Uh, it's a one-drop edition resonator. You may pay one light less to play this card if it targets a fairy resonator, so it's free mm -hmm. to play. Yep. Added resonator gets plus 200, plus 200. But also, banish this card to prevent the next damage that would be dealt to target resonator until end of turn. 
So simple little addition, pumping up the fairy. For free. For free, basically, yeah. Uh, and, and you can search it from your deck as well. Yeah, and you can search it. To, you put four of them in the deck if you have fairies. Done. <laughs> this guy's really good. Yes, I love the artwork. The Scorn of Dark Alice. So this is a one darkness. Spell chant. Look at target opponent's hand and choose a resonator. They discard that card. So good for stripping out threats from your opponent's hand. You're not going to use this against me, are you? Mm, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Guinevere and Lancelot. <laughs> uh, and then look at the artwork. She looks so evil. <laughs> and then <laughs> so yeah. I do like this card, do you? Yeah, yeah. I don't use darkness at all, but... No, no. <laughs> I'm just not the kind of person. <laughs> Evil. So we have a wind sprite. One, gr uh, one as uh, wind attribute. I'm trying not to use magic terms. I'm very sorry. Uh, it's a fairy resonator, and it's got rest to produce one light will. So this is, and I'm now going to use a magic term, it's a mana dock. You drop it down and use it to produce will. Mm. Yeah. This is the second one after the Elvish Priest, I believe. Yep. Although she only taps for light, yeah. so it's good if you're going dual colour and you haven't got the dual stones, I guess. Uh, we have a water sprite. She's another fairy, just one water will, flying as well. And when this card enters the field, reveal the top card of your main deck. If it's another fairy resonator, put it into your hand. A recurring theme for fairies. I really like her artwork as well. Of course you do. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on from that one. Hey, Hector. Yeah, Hector. Uh, Hector Damaris, the Acolyte of Mad Demon. She, or he, because it's Hector, um, is a Knight of the Round Don't Table. Don't judge her. <laughs> um, it's too well. You may pay one fire less to play this card if you control Lancelot, the Knight of Mad Demon. And when it enters your field, target resonator gains plus 400 and plus zero defense until end of turn. So that's for pumping up your Lancelot so he becomes a thousand, which means when he attacks, he can deal 700 damage to a target resonator. Mmm. Pretty nice. So Hector just goes in with a Lancelot. Who'd have guessed it? We have a Spellweaver Alf, so three will to play. Um, when this card enters your field, put three magic counters on your J Ruler. This is for Reflect Refrain. Maybe we should also. No, it's, it's uh, because J or Ruler? Yes. So when it's J Ruler and J or Ruler. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when yes. it's specifically. So maybe we should point out. Yes, sorry, yes. In the future. It is specifically J. J Ruler. Is this one? Yeah, J slash Ruler. So oh no, so it's J or Ruler. Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what would what we're quibbling on about is the fact that it says counters on your J ruler. Because it's J slash ruler, it can be both your J ruler or your ruler. Yeah. If it was just J hyphen, a nice little line, hyphen ruler, then it would only be once you've J activated. Mm. That's the distinction we're trying to make here. We have hammered home a point we really didn't need to <laughs> I just thought that the <laughs> no of course of course and then we're on to Gloria's Castle Town another reprint yes um, so two will addition for the field it counts as a castle subtype and whenever you gain life target resonator gains plus 300 300 until end of turn just good for pumping in light decks really yeah, very good for the new fairies and also the angels as well. I think generally, if you're splashing white, I think it's pretty good if you've got a very resonator-focused strategy. Mm. Uh, I've seen one of our guys make a casual fun deck. It's primarily wind, but with a splash of the light for some utility. Oh, yeah. And he's running some glorious castles in there because, well, uh, he's got life gain in there. So yeah. while you're gaining life, might as well gain attack power. Um, so that's going on a rare slot. Oh, we have a water magic stone. So we have one of each type of magic stones being printed in this, isn't it? Yep. So we've ha had one of those. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got really excited for no reason. <laughs> Who cares about this card? It's rubbish. No. <laughs> so actually, should we do this properly? Oh. We'll flip it back around. So we have Sylvia Gill Palerilias. Paler Palerilias? Paler 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 Hello, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Sylvia. Uh, five magic stones you control gain rest, produce wind. And her judgment is a fire, wind, and two. So there's nothing more to say about her on this side. However, do -do -do dramatic music for the side we've been showing for five minutes. Beautiful for that. That is. 
This is Sylvia Gill, something, something. Uh, the Dragon version. So it has flying, swiftness. When it enters the field, it deals a thousand damage to target J Resonator. And whenever a J Resonator is dealt damage by this card, this turn is destroyed. You may recover up to three magic stones you control. Ugh. Mm -hmm. That is so good. <laughs> With um, oh, Jewel of Truth. Yeah. And Beast Queen's counterattack, you can just keep on doing this kind of thing, recovering more stones again. And rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Make your opponent hate you. <laughs> Forever and <laughs> ever. Especially considering that judgment isn't a particularly high cost either. No. At four. I mean. And that wind is kind of pointless because she makes it has up. Yeah, exactly. So that's. It's a fantastic card, and we've got it in full art. So I wonder which lucky person will be buying that off our website. <laughs> So I got you, is it? No. <laughs> I nearly got Sylvia though, but somebody else who works here is getting her. <gasps> so we have the Fruit of Yggdrasil. So this is a resonator, despite not looking like one, because it's a bunch of fruits. Uh, no attack with 800 defense, it's too will to play, and when it enters your field, draw a card. So this is just a cantrip on a wall. Yeah. Yeah, it's just there's a big fat body blocking till probably if you're running like a late game strategy but you get a nice little cantrip in the meantime I quite like it it's interesting I mean it doesn't fit in every deck just because it's not really doing anything but mm. here we have the insomniac dormouse which is something we mentioned earlier um, to will it's a fairy tale and you can pay a water to put a tea party counter on each of the insomniac dormouse saying hatter or september hair you control or, and september hair you control to be more precise and rest, rest target resonated with total cost less than or equal to the number of tea party counters on this card. It doesn't recover during its controls next phase, but then remove all the tea party counters from this card. So this is just part of that little cycle of three, which supports, as James said earlier, the original Alice, the Valkyrie. Well, yeah, the Alice before. Not the yeah. Original, but yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, not the There's original. So many Alice cards. I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> but the one before. Yeah. <laughs> Then we have a Flame Sprite. This is another fairy, but in the fire type. It has flying and swiftness, and rest. This card deals 100 damage to target resonator for each fairy you control. So this can be good at board control. With how cheap fairies are, you can spam them out fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, you could probably easily get to five or six fairies whilst using this ability. You can also bring a couple out with her with a tap and bring a one drop up, which is... Oh, sorry, yeah, my hand was in the way, but yes, <laughs> with her, yeah. So, quite a good one if you don't mind splashing the red for it, if you've got the jewel stones and stuff. The fairy's memoria can tap oh, yes. for any colour fairy. There we go, so... Then we have Alice's little supply force. Only one light attribute, and it has... Uh, sorry, one light will to play, and it has one light, banish this card to recover target resonator, 200 attack, 200 defence. Just a cutesy little common, isn't it? Mm. It's really useful. With, with If you've got a massive guy on the field. And you want to get a second bashing in. Yeah. We have a progenitor demon. Um, he is 600 attack with only 300 defence. Two will to play. And he has flying. So nothing fancy there. It's just a big beat stick on wings. Mm. We have another September hair. We have the final word. Oh, I can't say anything anymore. This is a really useful card, especially for the new Arthur card. Because then you boost it. Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> but it said the final word. That was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. So it's one will to play, it's a instant, and target blocking resonate you control gains, plus a thousand, a thousand until end of turn. So who did you say this worked well with? The uh, the new Arthur card. Like if, he, if someone's finally managed to be able to destroy him, it's like, nah, give him a power boost. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's just going to get bigger instead. Uh, it's quite cool artwork, is that Dark Alice? And Faria. It's actually quite upsetting for me, because Faria is one of my favourite characters at the moment. Um, but this is the part of the story where she's trying to make Alice retreat while she takes the final attack. So uh, that's why her flavour text is saying, like, telling Alice, Alice don't worry about me, run! And then Faria dies. Really? Mm. <laughs> don't worry, she'll be back. It's like comic books. <laughs> then we have the Overlord's Baptism. 
So for Will, it's a spell. Choose a race, return all resonators of the chosen race to their owner's hand. As long as your J ruler is overlord of the Seven Lands Valentina, you may pay two to play its next God's Art ability rather than pay its cost this turn. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine, no, it's fine. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> Did you get confused? Maybe. <laughs> so basically you can play Overlord's Baptism, then you can do Valentina's, uh, a Valentina's God's Art for two less. Mm. Which is which pretty is cool. every God's Art. Yes, because <laughs> she gains all names, but still has her own name, and gains all the God's Arts. So their God's Arts, it's, ah, uh, she's amazing. I can't wait to build a deck around her. Mm. It's going to be so interesting. Like, it's going to be such a challenge as well. But no, we'll get to her if we pull one. So, good card though, because there's a lot of um, uh, race themes in this with the fairies and yeah. stuff. So it can be quite useful, um, like Knights of the Round Table for chance, yeah, per chance. Maybe. Return them all to your hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of. Oh, so this is a wreck. Oh, sorry, yes. Speaking of, Arthur Pendragon, nine, uh, King of the Round Table. No one cares about him, this guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> so he's five world to play. He has a 1,200 attack and defense. <laughs> uh, this card cannot be targeted by fire or darkness spells or abilities. Resonators your opponent control. Calm down, James. <laughs> resonators your opponent controls must attack this card if able. And he also has rest. Target resonator gains plus zero, plus 800 until end of turn. So everyone's totally playing him to buff the, the resonators by 800, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> why, yeah. <laughs> so yes, so as James so rightfully pointed out, using the final word, you buff him up to 2,200 <laughs> uh, because he will be blocking because your opponent will be attacking him because they have to. Uh, and they can't use most of the removal spells in the game to deal with him. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sounds fair. <laughs> oh, that giggle. <laughs> so yeah, as you can tell, Arthur Pendragon is causing a bit of an upset, I believe, in the community at the moment because yeah. he he is difficult to deal with and difficult to handle. It's not impossible, and I'm not going to say he is broken because he can be handled. Mm -hmm. He's just he's a threat that has to be answered immediately when he hits. Or alternatively, don't let him hit the table. That's going to be my suggestion. So, um, stories told in a thousand nights in the Shahrazad deck. Yes, that would work. <laughs> I guess it would work. So yeah, so Arthur Pendragon is very, very good. Um, would you say you'd even play him in cards that aren't Knight of the Round Table decks? Just if you're running light, mm. just as a big bomb I'm finisher. Not sure. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I would have said maybe fairies because they're so cheap. And then you run say two of these in the deck or something. Yeah, because you're gonna a, have plenty of will. Yeah, so late game two, three, maybe in the deck, late game dropping, boom. Mm. Smashing a couple of, you know, nice thousand plus damage. So, yeah, that is Arthur. And then we've got foil. So, we have Spellchant Instant, Dance of the Shadows. So, this is four world play. It's got a nice artwork of Schrodinger's cat on there. It has Remnant. You may, so, this is um, an ability that lets you play the card from the graveyard, but if you do, you remove it from the game instead, so you can't just keep. Um, you can't just keep playing it back from your graveyard. And it's put target resonator from your graveyard into your field, remove it from the game at end of turn. So bring something back to life for a turn. Reanimate for a turn. Which is good because um, a lot of the dark versions of the Seven Kings have uh, on call abilities. Yeah. On enter. Or on enter, yeah. Uh, which aren't enter themselves. So. Yeah. Cool. So it's useful to be able to bring them back even just for the turn. Yeah. So we have a familiar refrain, which is something we referenced earlier, the new reflect refrain refra the refrain refrain ruler J ruler. So this is five hundred attack and defense, two will, it's a beast, and if magic counters would be put on your J ruler, put that many plus one instead. So it's just helping uh refrain with refrain and reflect strategy. Like it needs so much help. Yep. <laughs> oh Mr. I play pen dragons. Hey. <laughs> We have a mechanical sprite, uh, just a simple one wheel, 300, 300, and you can pay one to give it flying. It's a machine and a fairy, mm -hmm. so it can go in a machine or, or a fairy deck, but mm, really it's just well, a nice card for... Being a void, it can be used in basically anything, and it's nice to have a little defense against flying. Yeah, you can. I suppose you can just use it as like a couple of in the deck and just use it for your anti-flying, just as a throw it under the flying bus. Mm. Um, 
Yeah. I think it's more useful for like a limited environment though rather than constructed. It's great for machine because machine is so good at buffing like the whole field. Hmm. So here we have all consuming suspicion. One water will. Added res uh, it's an addition resonator. Added resonator cannot attack resonators. And then you can banish the card to draw a card. And I quite like the artwork. It's interesting. Mm. Um, I'm not entirely sure it fits what the card's doing, but I get the feeling maybe the card did something a bit different when it was originally designed and they got the artwork made. But um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I, I'm not sure, quite sure how Valentina works. Uh, Valentina decks work exactly. I'm not. Sure. I think it could have its uses, but it's not. Again, not like a core of the deck. Ah, mm. oh, now here's a card I like. Burn to Cinders. Is it because of the Imperishable card? Oh, it might be something <laughs> to do with that. So it's two, um, two fire will to play. It's an instant, and this card deals 700 damage to target J Resonator. Mm. I, I highlight that bit. Oh, and, oh, look, there's some more text. If it's a J Ruler, it also loses Imperishable until end of turn. Uh, and if it's a resonator and it will be put into graveyard from the field uh, instead, uh, sorry, from, into the graveyard from the field instead remove it from the game. So what, what was that? It loses imperishable until end of turn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Simon has a bit of a problem with my Faria getting imperishable every turn with Excalibur. Yes, just a bit. Mm -hmm. I do... It, Dealing with J Resonator, uh, J Rulers is a bit of a overall problem in False of Will. I feel like if you haven't got big resonators or target attack and stuff, they can be quite tricky to deal with because not a lot directly targets them. Yeah. And Crime and Punishment is an okay card, but you have to have been hit by it first. Which some people just use uh, J Rulers support for things like Little Red. Yeah. So I'm quite happy to see Burn Cinders because it will help. I mean, yours is 800 defense anyway. Yeah. So I'd have to hit it with something else first. But Thunder maybe? Yeah, something like Thunder or, you know, either way. But either way, I like Burn Cinders. I think it's very good cards. Four of in my deck. No. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a Light Sprite. Have we done this one? No. 200, 300 Fairy. Only one world to play. It's flying. Oh, there we have it, I see. Uh, and then you can rest it to gain 100 life for each fairy you control. That could get quite tasty. <laughs> it could. Also, with Glorious Castle Town, you're not really losing any attack from resting her. In fact, you're gaining it. You give 300, 300 or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you're actually benefiting more by resting it to gain the life. I quite like that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, final four fifths. Even though this is an uncommon, this is still probably one of my favourite cards in the set because it's so interesting. So one wind, it's an instant, and target J Resonator loses all abilities and cannot gain abilities until end of turn. So that's interesting. So yeah, go on then James, lead us away. I don't want to talk about it. What? Because you can get rid of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so and I won't be using it. So. <laughs> this is incredibly useful against things like like the new Reflect Refrain. Mm. Um, any sort of control build will want to have Final Forfeit in. Arguably, even uh, anything that's running Wind should be considering this in the sideboard to help deal with troublesome J Resonators. Um, Sylvia as well. Mm. Um, might be good for things like... A little red, the true fairy tale, who can't be affected by fire stuff. So if you use this on her first, then you can use your burnt to cinders or whatever on her. Yeah, exactly. So final forfeit, very, very good. Then we have some uh, sane hatter. So this is the last one of the three um, that we saw earlier. So three will to play. He counts as a fairy tale, and you can pay one to put a tea party counter on him. Uh, on himself, the Insomniac Dormas, and the September Hare, and his abilities to rest, return target resonated with total cost less than or equal to the number of tea party counters on this card to its owner's hand. So, and then remove all the tea party counters. So, when all three of them are on the field, you've got quite a nice bit of versatility there and what you're doing. You can control the board state and stuff quite well then. We then have Recollection of Dystopia. So this is two darkness to play, it's just a normal spell. Your opponent banishes a resonator, and then as long as your ruler is, uh, your J ruler is Dark Alice, Maiden of Slaughter, you may pay two darkness less to play its God's Art ability this turn. So, so there's a light version of this as well for the light Alice. Um, but 
the light Alice targets, and this is banish. So you would remove it from game if you were this lady. Uh, yep. But the benefit of banishing, obviously, is that you're not targeting anything. Mm, they have to get rid of it themselves. Yeah. It's good. Um, it gets rid of Arthur if they have only Arthur on the board. <laughs> I mean, what? Um, <laughs> so we have an SR, Leviathan, the first of the she. So he's um, uh, six will to drop. That almost looked like an eight there. Yeah, I, saw <laughs> I won't that. lie. That's why I flicked it. It's like that almost looked like an eight. Had I read it wrong? But uh, he's twelve apostles and beast. So fifteen hundred attack and defense. And when he enters your field, discard your hand. Then return all resonates your opponent controls with total cost less than or equal to the number of cards discarded this way to the owner's hand. He then has three following abilities. Banish a water magic stone. This card gains plus 200, 200 till end of turn. Banish two water magic stones. This card cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponent controls till end of turn. Banish three water magic stones. Rest all resonators your opponent controls. So if you're sort of nearing the end of the game and your opponent doesn't have much life left, you banish five. Rest everything. Can't be targeted. Just go in for a 1500. Big smacker. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely an end game scenario where you're like, well, I've only got like two cards left in hand anyway, I might as well play them out, and let's just try and smack face. Yeah. And then we have Foil, which is Deployable Defense Device. DDD. Um, interesting artwork, just like a giant machine thing. So it's three void play. Uh, it counts as a machine resonator and banish this card. Target additional regalia cannot be destroyed until end of turn. So, useful card to have. Yeah, it's a bit of a heavy cost, cost just to protect your regalia or whatever. But I mean, twelve k defense. A twelve k? Oh, twelve hundred <laughs> defense. Twelve hundred, not twelve k. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a good card, but I think. Unless you really, really want to keep your regalia alive. Mm. Mm -mm. Then we have Shadow Assassin, so it's two darkness. It counts as a shadow, and when this card deals damage to, your, to a resonator, destroy that resonator. So it's just a, a good little assassin. Basically. There's a similar one early for the one inch boy. Yes, one inch boy from uh, for the water. Mm. We have a drop of Yggdrasil, which is one wind attribute. Added resonator, so it's an addition resonator. Added resonator. I mean, cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponent's um, controls. And you can banish the card, Tiger Resonate gains plus 200, 200 till end of turn. Just good at keeping your big stompy monsters alive in mm. wind, really. That's that's how I see you using it. Yeah. Uh, there are ones that can search this one. Or maybe it's just one. It's one of the big birds. Mm, can search this. So there we go. Then we have Send Back. Uh, Do we cover this one? No. This one? So Send Back is a. Um, spell chance, sadly not an instant. Uh, one blue, uh, sorry, one water will. Return target addition, resonator, or regalia to its owner's hand. It's very good. Very good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only a temporary way of dealing with, some, with the threat, but even temporarily could be the difference between you know winning and losing mm. by helping clear out the field or preventing like someone using an Artemis or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yes, send back is good. Also, if you wanted to, if you could do it on your own Artemis. Yeah, you can bounce um, your own one back to get your new counters on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Utility, I like it. Magic match stick, one fire. Uh, it's an addition resonator. Add your resonator, gain swiftness and first strike. And then banish this card. This card deals 200 damage to target J resonator. So, it's Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll also see another card that works well with this later on, hopefully. The little matchstick girl. Ah, magic matchstick and matchstick girl. Who'd have thought? We have the Pride of Knights. Is this a reprint? It is, yes. Yeah. Target J Resonator, you control gets plus 200, 200 till end of turn, and you gain 200 life. Again, this is working with Light's theme of small pump, gain life. This is also the same set that had... Um, Glorious Castle Town first in, so it's so it works meant for glorious. That. Yeah. We have a Shadow Doppelganger who is four will to play. Uh, it counts as a shadow, it's zero zero attack and defense. However, as this card enters your field, you may remove a resonator in your graveyard from the game. 
if you do this card enters your field as a copy of the card removed this way so it really is a doppelganger and the possibilities are near limitless for this I mean you don't want to be targeting anything small and little do you but no. you want to be copying your big threats your big beasts though apparently you can copy the enter effect like I mean it works hmm so which I'm I mean, somebody said that, but I'm not sure because hers is an enter effect. Yeah, which means you've already passed the point of entering. That is something we'll have to look at in a rules, mm. comprehensive rules guide. So we have Sylvia's Roar. So two words to play. Choose one. If your jail ruler is Sylvia, Gil, that word, choose up to two instead. Resonate as you control gain plus 300 attack till end of turn. Or Dragon J resonates you control gain whenever this card attacks. It deals damage equal to its attack to target resonator until end of turn. And as it said, if you've got Sylvia as your J ruler, you get both <coughs> for two. Yes. So yeah, I'm going to attack and then that dies already. <laughs> ah, we have the Beast Queen's counter attack. So uh, it's two worlds play, it's a normal spell chant. Target Jake Resonator you control gains plus 400, 400 until end of turn. Then that card and target Jake Resonator your opponent controls deal damage equal to their attack to each other. So basically you force two of them to fight. Mm. So it's like Jewel of Truth. It's got two wind instead of just one fire, but you get the plus 400, 400. But yeah. it's not an instant. Yeah, okay. which is a stout bit of a shame. But mm. So you are only playing that in your turn, not as a surprise. And another uh, water magic stone. Another water magic stone. Oh, uh, James kind of wants this. Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> so we have a nice full art Excalibur, the Spirit God Sword. Is this yours, James? <laughs> Soon it will be. I'm not sure if I want it or not yet. Ooh. So it's a regalia, two to play. However, not the usual freebie. Mm -hmm. Your J ruler gains plus 100, 100 for each resonator you control, so big army equal big buff. And it has rest, produce one of any will, spend that will only to play fairies, and then banish this card, your J ruler gains imperishable until end of turn. I like that bit. Yeah, um, <laughs> you love imperishable. So, yeah, seeing as one drops are very uh, well found in the fairies, this uh, <laughs> sort of buffs Alice up a major amount. So, yeah. We like this card. It's good. Fairies get a lot of easy calling as well because the um, the stone also allows you to do any colour. Ah, okay. so lots of calling. Uh, so we have a Pride of Knights. Unseen Precious, Rojinder's cat in the background there. One Darkness, it's an instant, and it's simply destroy target resonated with 400 less uh, attack or less. So this is just a weaker version of Stoning to Death. Half the price, half the ability. Yeah. Looks well for those Guinevere's and uh, personal arsenal. <laughs> All the stuff you play, you're right. Servant of Reflect, one, uh, wind, one wind will. Counts as an elf, it's 200, 200 attack and defense, and it gains plus 100, 100 for each two magic counters on your J ruler. And remove one of those counters from your J ruler to return this card to its owner's hand. That could just help keep it alive, like from combat or abilities that are targeting it, basically. Mm. Valentina's Zealot. So, funny enough, this goes in the Valentina deck. Uh, one water will to play, counts as a soldier, 100 attack, 500 defense. Banish this card, your J ruler cannot be targeted by spells or abilities until end of turn. With only one cast, you could kind of use that and everything. Yeah. And it's just good for keeping your J ruler alive, isn't it? Mm. So, Burn of Cinders shouldn't be too much of a problem. <laughs> we have Sylvia's Clanmate. So, this is two world to play. It's a dragon, it's flying. Banish this card, you pay one less to play judgment abilities of your ruler this turn. And it has the fire breathing for plus 100 damage, uh, attack. So, yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Anything? I don't know if that banish for one less judgment is. It's. I mean, it seems like a big cost. You, I think you, you'd only do that if you, if it was about to die and you're going to judgment anyway, probably. Oh, okay, yeah. Like if they were killing it on your turn, it's a bit, yeah. That ability is not so good. Yeah. We have the spirit of Yggdrasil. So three world to play. It's a resonator spirit, six hundred attack and defense, and when an addition is added to this card, draw a card. So good for the drop of Yggdrasil. Yep, play a drop of Yggdrasil on a draw a card. Ooh. 
Navi. <laughs> uh, hey, listen. <laughs> Another deployable defensive device. Ah, and then we have... I'll try and pronounce this. Yes, then we have the Drinker of Death. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, the go, the go, 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 go. Yep, that one. Uh, eagle. It's a beast, 500 attack and defense. It has the new evolution ability. Pay one void, discard a beast. If there are no evolution counters on this card, put an evolution counter on it. As long as there's one or more evolution counters on the card, it gets plus 300, 300, so it becomes AA. And whenever an evolution counter is put onto this card, target player shuffles all magic stones from their graveyard into their magic stone deck and all other cards from their graveyard into their main deck. An 800, 800 for two drop isn't bad at all. <laughs> I'm so not going to complain. <laughs> And it works well for if your opponent's running a Necronomicon. Just sort of... Just reset them. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit mean. I love it. Then we've had a Wind Magic Stone. Ooh. Oh, Faria, why did you have to turn evil? Uh, <laughs> Dark Faria, Shadow Princess of Ebony. Still, and again. She's like the best dark one, so I'm not too bad. And it's a full art as well. Mm. So she's become a 500-500 Resonator, Shadow Slash Seven Kings. Two darkness to play. Awakening is two darkness. When this card enters your field, destroy target resonator for two. So she gets a built in stoning to death on play. Mm. Other shadow resonators you control get plus 200, 200. And whenever this card deals damage, you gain that much life. She's quite nice. Mm. That is a good card for darkness. That's also good with the final word because if someone tries to attack her, you can buff her up and then steal their life. Ah, that is good. Some pretty swanky little full art so far. Yeah. I'm impressed. It's one of my favourite parts about Fossil World. So, Dark Alice is familiar. The Fruit of Yggdrasil. Insomniac Dormouse. Flame Sprite. Supply Force. Down to the show. We've seen a lot of the commons now. We have the Beast Queen's Guardian. One wind up, One wind. What? One will play. 300 attack, 300 defense, evolution ability. So this costs two to do, and then as long as there's one or more evolution counters on this card, it gains plus 300, 300. So 600, but again, it's costing, it's technically costing three to do, and a discard. True, but later on you can bring out Prisha, the uh, Beast Queen in hiding, and you can give evolution counters to everything. So, yeah, Which fantastic. Is also fun if you have Little Red the True Fairy Tale as your J Ruler, so it doubles the buff. Oh wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good one. We have uh Suzeri Himi. Hime. Hime. Goddess of Passion Fruits. Um <laughs> No? She's three <laughs> world to play. We're moving on. She's a goddess, two hundred attack, nine hundred defence, and you can pay one water to either switch the attack and defence of this card until end of turn, or this card gains plus one hundred defence until end of turn. So, pump, 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 switch, attack. Mm. Or attack, are you blocking? No, switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's quite cool. Interesting. Ooh, talking about Prisha. The Beast Queen. Yeah, we were. So, Prisha, the Beast Queen in hiding. So, she's, well, as you can tell, gone into hiding, even though they've just brought a trial deck out for her <laughs> as a ruler. She's 700, 700, two will to play. She counts as a human slash beast. When this card enters your field, you may put an evolution counter on target resonator with no evolution counters on it. And if a spell or ability would increase this card's attack or defense, it increases by double that much instead. And for one wind, choose any number of attributes, this card becomes those attributes until end of turn. So. And then with little red again, <laughs> double it even. Ooh. Oh, and then we've seen her earlier, but here is a full art Guinevere. Oh, try and get the shine off of it. Very pretty. Oh, I do love having fossil wheel boxes. All the full arts. Oh, what is that? What? Ooh. Oh, oh, Ooh. so we, we, me and James just got quite excited here because we were like, why is this full art on top? <laughs> we think we know why. Mm. So here's Change the World Orb of Illusion. Do you know what, before we actually explain the card, should we go through the pack? <laughs> yeah, right. Do we, is this a god pack? 
as we refer to them. I assume so. Uh, oh, yeah. wow, that oh. is... Look at that. <laughs> okay, so going through each one one by one. <clears throat> Change the world orb of illusion. Can I steal this box? <laughs> no. <laughs> Excalibur, the god's sword. Excalibur, the spirit god sword. We have Le yeah, Levitine, the demon sword. We got a Schrodinger, the fallen black cat. Is that how you pronounce it? Schrodinger. I thought it was Schrodinger. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I wasn't sure if you're right. I don't know. Not Ruining the moment. <laughs> Alice, the Fairy Queen, J Ruler, Sylvia, J Ruler, and Overlord of the Seven Seas, Valentina, and a Refrain, and <laughs> Dark Alice. Oh wow! Okay. We got one of these God packs. This is amazing. Let's go through the rulers first, so you can. Well, we have already seen some of these, so yeah. Um, well, we're not going to spend too long on each one. So, Dark Alice, Maiden of Slaughter. So this is the cover girl for the set. Starts as the girl in twilight garb, uh, with Schrodinger's cat. It is supposed so to have a dinger on the end. Oh, okay. I've just been pronouncing it wrong, as we all know. Uh, judgment is zero. Play this ability only if you have removed three or more cards from the game with this card's ability, which is one darkness, remove target card in your opponent's graveyard from the game. Then she flips. She has target attack with 900 attack and defense. When the centers you field, choose a number. Destroy all resonators with total cost equal to the chosen number. Seems fair. Mm. Oh, you're playing fairies. One. <laughs> and then she has a god art, Walpurgis Knight. Um, two darkness. J resonators your opponent controls gain minus 200, minus 200. Search your main deck for a card named Schrodinger's Cat. <coughs> Sorry. Schrodinger the Fallen Black Cat and put it into your field, then shuffle your main deck. So, yeah. You should see Schrodinger's ability before mm. coming. <laughs> it is good, isn't it? Mm. So, should we flick yeah, Schrodinger's is out? Where is he? There it is. So, he's Regalia, costing three void to play. This is putting Dark Arts into context. As long as there are five or more cards in your opponent's removed area, your J Ruler gains plus 500 to 500, and as long as there are ten or more cards removed, your J Ruler gains swiftness and target attack. It can rest to produce one of any will, and banish this card to give your J Ruler imperishable. So give her a nice buff while she also debuffs all your opponents. Mm hmm. For the, until the end of the game. It's a good combo. Mm -hmm. So that's Alice. We're, we're going to put them in this special pile here. We have Reflect, Reflame. Ref oh, I always butcher that one. So, Judgment it costs zero. And it's choose uh, for zero, you can choose one of these abilities. You can only play this ability once per turn. Target Resonate against plus 200, plus 200 till end of turn. Draw a card, put a card from your hand on the bottom of your main deck or recover target resonator at the end of turn, all of them also put a magic counter on this card. And then you can pay zero to do judgment, which flips it over to refrain. So, at the top, pay zero, put this card into your ruler area as a ruler. Play this ability only during your opponent's turn. So it's got to get out clause. Yeah. And it has no attack or defense to note, this card cannot battle. And then it has rest to either remove uh, rest plus remove two magic counters from this card to return target resonate to its own hand. Pardon me. Remove X from this card to cancel target normal spell your opponent controls with cost of X. Or rest and remove four to search your deck for any card and put it into your hand. Uh, this is probably this rule is probably going to get played a lot. Yeah. Um, very good with. Levitain, Levitain, I don't know, uh, the, the demon, demon sword, sword. Yeah. <laughs> to give her a swiftness. So as soon as she comes out, you can do all of, it, all of it, and then on your opponent's turn, you retreat. Yeah. Also, another thing to add, sorry. Uh, you go on. Um, having no attack and defense is very different to having zero attack and defense. Mm -hmm. She cannot be attacked, and you can't debuff her. She doesn't die from just coming on. You can't deal damage to her or anything mm. like that. She just isn't a, effectively isn't a resonator. Yeah. So, yeah, that's Reflect Refrain. This can be a very interesting one. I think you're going to see a lot of her. She's also got her own regalia. That's in this pack. Which it was, was the... Right at the beginning, I believe. Change the World Orb of Illusion. So we'll go to this one quickly, which was at the front. Zero to play. Rest, put a magic counter on your J-Ruler. Rest, remove a magic counter from your J-Ruler. If your J-Ruler has no attack and defense, recover it. 
<laughs> and then one wind and rest, remove two magic counters from your J roller as well to draw a card. So yeah, you can immediately see how this works with refrain. Um, Stupidly well. <laughs> incredibly well. Having four of those on the field. Oh. You can search for a card as well. Yes. So. Then we have Overlord the Seven Seas, Valentina. So we'll start with the ruler side, which is Valentina plotting Lord of the Seas. She's plotting the sea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pay two to search your main deck for a regalia, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle the deck. And then Judgment for three, which brings her back to the Overlord of the Seven Lands, Valentina. So when she enters your field, you may reveal any number of Seven Kings, J rulers with different names you own from outside the game and keep them revealed until end of game. This card gets 100-100 for each card revealed this way, and it gains all of those cards' names and God's Art's abilities. So immediately to note, everyone thinking, Oh my god, I'm going to reveal an entire box of them. <laughs> In tournament play, owning from outside the game is your sideboard. So Which maximum is... 15. Right. So you'd have maximum plus 15, plus 15, plus 1,500. Oh no! But it's for it's a different seven. Oh, so sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. What? Yeah, I knew I was supposed to say something. Plus seven hundred, seven hundred to make you fourteen hundred, um, and then you gain all their names and God's Arts abilities, and you can get all the regalia as well beforehand. So you buff her up even more. Give her imperishable. Give her just about every word you want mm. <laughs> with all the combinations Target of God's Arts and Christmas. stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, so she's very interesting. She's she'll have a lot of versatility, but I'm 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 going to try and build a deck based around her, and I want to see how I can build it. So I'm looking forward to giving Valentina a try. Then we have Sylvia, who we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. We have Alice, the Fairy Queen. Now this girl of the lake. No. Oh, so she just has no. Well, she has no ability. She has judgment for eight, but you can pay one less for each fairy you control. So you're probably paying zero because fairies just propagate. She becomes a nine hundred nine hundred J ruler with flying, and when she enters the field, recover all your fairies. God's art, reminiscence of Utopia. So two light. J ruler J resonators you control game plus 200 200 search your main deck for a card named Excalibur the spirit god sword and put it into your field then shuffle your main deck to be honest I think her um, enter ability could take down your opponent because a lot of the fairies are flying mm. they will fly over do little attacks do it again yeah it's it's like um, an entire wall of <laughs> fairies just mm. wave after wave of them uh, and just to show you this is Excalibur the spirit god sword which we've already been in. Yep. But it's just show you, we got this in the pack as well. Mm. So, and then we have uh, Leitovin, Leitovine, Levitine. Levitine? Yeah, I think Levitine. Levitine is Demon Sword. Um, these yes, these are reprints. Excalibur the God Sword and the Demon Sword are both reprints, aren't they? Mm. Um, Demon Sword gain, uh, grants your J roll of swiftness. And you can rest it, and then if your J-Roll would deal damage, it deals that much, plus 200 instead, and if it was Malgus, the one charmed by the Demon Sword, it gains Imperishable until end of turn, and pay two less to do its God's Art ability. And you can banish it, uh, banish a Resonator to recover this card, discard another one of these to produce a Fire a fire Will, or banish this card to give your J-Roll an Imperishable. And Excalibur is very similar. Um, your J-Roll gains target attack, then your J roll gains plus 200 plus 200 until end of turn by resting this. As long as it's Faria, the ruler of God's sword, it also gains imperishable until end of turn. And you may pay two less to do its God's Art ability. Then discard another card named Excalibur to produce a light will. Or banish the card to give your J roll imperishable until end of turn. I've had a lot of fun with uh, Excalibur. Yeah? So, works very well. It, it has. Against you. <laughs> yes, every time. The other one is very good as well. Giving your giving your J ruler just swiftness as soon as it comes out, it's really good. Ah, oh, it's very good. So yeah, so we've just had the incredibly exciting what's referred well I refer to as a god pack. I'm not entirely sure what the I think most people refer to it as that. Yeah. Ooh, ah, so we're on to the normal cards again. <laughs> Jeanne d'Arc, Shadow Princess of Purity. She's been corrupted. Mm. 300 attack and defense, uh, only one darkness to play. 
Uh, she's a shadow, and when a resonator is put into a graveyard from your opponent's field, put rest target resonator your opponent controls. So, kill one, tap another one. I think it's got a lot of, can be used very well, especially with all the killing that these shadows do. Yeah, exactly. So, Ooh, shiny. Uh, we've got a nice foily wind magic stone. Ooh, oh. shiny. <laughs> and a foil off Pendragon. No one cares about that, though, right? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe someone out there. Anyone? Message me if you even care about Arthur Pendragon. Um, so, obviously, I'm going to be sort of slipping through. Oh, seems through a lot of the commons now because we've seen them, but this one we haven't. Welp, Dra uh, Welp Drake. 400 400 for two. He's flying, and when he's put into a graveyard from your field, it deals 400 damage to target resonator. So he's an annoying little irritant that nips you on the way out. Can also be Guinevere. Oh yes, <laughs> Guinevere the Whelp Drake. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> we have a young knight of Gloria. So he's one light will to play. Uh, three hundred, three hundred. He counts as a knight, and he has target attack. Always nice to just take out the little ones that your opponent has. Yeah, like your little annoying flying fairies. <laughs> oh, we have Black Ribbon. So this is one darkness. Added resonator gains minus two hundred minus two hundred. I always love that wording. Gains minus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can also banish this card. Target resonator gains minus four hundred four hundred until end of turn. Trying to take it off only makes it worse. So yeah, just good for binding down. Uh, either using its removal for a little creature, or just sort of taming a bigger one. Mm. Then we have the Sane Hatter, Shadow Doppelganger, the Holy Ground of Four Sacred Beasts. Spoilers, they're dead. Um, <laughs> one wind attribute to play, it's an addition field. When this card enters your field, choose one. Put target Four Sacred Beasts resonate from your graveyard into your hand. Told you. Or draw a card. And then you may pay one less to play evolution abilities of resonators you control. So even though it's called Holy Ground of the Four Sacred Beasts, and even though it can get a Four Sacred Beast from your graveyard to hand, really you're playing this in an evolution deck where you don't run Four Sacred Beasts. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it works in both. It's pretty it, fine. I mean, it works alright in both. It's only a one drop as well. So. You, but the problem is, if you put it in a Four Sacred Beast deck, you're paying one to return one from your graveyard. That's yeah, but it's it. a field. So yeah, but then it does oh, nothing it else. Oh, it's only on enters. Okay, no So it does nothing else. I didn't else. read it properly. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read it aloud to you. Uh, yeah, I wasn't listening. <laughs> in, a, in the nicest way. <laughs> in the nicest way possible, I was ignoring you. Uh, ooh. So we actually have a Cthulhu. Uh, a Dom... Uh, a Dom The unfathomable... <laughs> unfathomable. Fathomable. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Three world to play. He counts as a twelve apostles or a Cthulhu. He's six hundred eight hundred. Then he has incarnation. So you may banish banish any combination of two light, fire, water, wind, or darkness resonators rather than pay this card's cost. So any combination of the two. When this card enters your field, if it was played by its incarnation, for each different attribute among all banished resonators, do the following. So normally you're getting two of these abilities. There are a couple of dual cards in the game, but you probably won't be running them. If you remember the Beast Queen in hiding, she mm. can make herself every attribute. True, so you could... But on average you're getting two of these. Well, yeah. So you can gain 400 life, this card deals 400 damage to a target resonator, draw a card, produce a will, or your opponent loses 400 life. So it's just a little bit of versatility for three void, uh, for void, for three will. Yeah, you can use it in just about any deck as well because of the incarnation. Yeah, I mean obviously it fits better in a Cthulhu deck yeah. because they want to be, you know, being uh, sacrificed. Aren't there so. a load of Cthulhu hate cards though nowadays? There are, but if you're running them, that's a bit strange. Mm. Unless, of course, you're, it's a local meta call, in which case it's perfectly acceptable. Um, so yeah, we've seen a lot of these. <laughs> Once again, as soon as I start saying it, we get a new one. It's, it's like waiting for a bus. Wall of Ideas. 
It's an instant, only costs one water, and target resonator gains minus 800 attack or plus 800 defense until end of turn. So it's got a bit of versatility. It can be used either way, either to help save yourself by nerfing one of their attackers or by helping one of your resonators survive. And with this lady who changes Ooh, the attack. Oh, yes. Game, you can either use it beforehand or use it afterwards so she's got powerful attack and defense. There we go. Perfect. Good use of wall of ideas. What a good idea. We have Dark Arla, the Shadow Wing. So she's a 700, 500. Oh, he... a man. Why does everyone say it's a she? <laughs> <laughs> because all in this game, all the men are women and all the women are men. Uh, all the women are women and all the men are women. So it's three to play. It's a Shadow slash Seven Kings. Flying. And for two, will this card deals 600 damage to target resonator with flying. It's got a bit of a mixed review when it first came up, but I think it's amazing. Like, just taking out all those little flying, especially with fairies, you can easily kill loads of them. Oh, I suppose, yeah, when taken in context of the set. Mm. Dark Machina, Gliding Shadow. Machina. Machina, sorry. So, three void, Resonator Shadow slash Seven Kings, 400 attack and defense. And when this card enters your field, search your main deck for a card with no attribute. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your main deck. So it chews the card out into your hand and gives you a nice little body on the field, which is pointed out. Or regalia. Or regalia, actually, yeah. <coughs> um, so yeah, shame it's not a machine, though. I know it's a gliding shadow, but... Yeah, but he's the only one of the Dark Seven Kings who isn't darkness. Mm. So. Although he's you... fairly dark in the artwork. Uh, yeah. He's got a massive hole in his chest. Yeah. Then we have Elizabeth, Shadow Princess of Blood. So, three world to play. Uh, it counts as a shadow slash vampire, 200 attack, 900 defense. And when a resonator is put into a graveyard from your opponent's field, recover this card and it gains plus 400 attack until end of turn. Mm. The more she kills, the stronger she becomes. That is a very good card. Ooh. And then we have a full art, that name, Drinker of Death, uh, who we saw earlier. So, look, we've had a god pack and loads of really good full arts, and we're a third of the way through. Oops. Which means the rest of them are going to be worthless. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we just pull more Arthur Pendragons. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a beastly attack, which is an instant. There's three will. Target attacking resonator gains plus 600 attack and defense. And whenever this card deals damage to a resonator, it does that much damage to your opponent until end of turn. Good. It's just good, isn't it? Mm. It's sort of like a Ame no Habakiri mm. as a spell instead. And for wind. Mm. Yeah. This. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maritime Lookout. 500, 500, two drop. Soldier, and when it enters your field, return target fire resonate to its owner's hand. So it's just a, it's an anti-fire card for water, really. Just a nice little comment. There's quite a lot of anti-fire in this set. Good. <laughs> Flash of Demon Sword. Uh, two to play. It's a spell chant standby, and it's trigger when a J resonate you control attacks. Target resonator cannot block until end of turn, and if you control a J ruler, this card deals damage equal to its attack to that resonator. Mm. It's good. There we go, that's our final word on that one. <laughs> Justice mm. of God's Sword, this is a reprint from an older set as well. That one was too. Oh, sorry, yeah, that one was as well. Very similar, but for light, but instead, when a resonator your opponent controls attacks or blocks, you can deal 500 damage. However, if you have a DA ruler, you instead deal damage equal to the attack. Dark Alice is Shadow Warrior. We haven't seen this one, have we? Nope. One darkness to play, 300 300, it's a shadow slash soldier. And banish this card to give target resonate a minus 200 200 till end of turn. I suppose, I mean, the way I immediately see you using it is you either you're attacking or blocking, your opponent's going to be killing it, so you go, well, mm. I'll banish it and kill something of yours instead. Yeah, yeah. You threaten with it, basically. Which gives shadows three one drops, which is always nice. Mm. We've seen Sylvia's Raw. Uh, Elaine, the fairy. Uh, two world to play. Um, have we seen this one? Yes, no, we have. Uh, no, we haven't. We've seen Vivian and Nimue. Oh, sorry, Vivian. He's very similar, isn't she? Mm. 
It's 400, 400, and she also has an awakening for one light. When it enters your field, search your main deck for a card named Protection of the Fairies, reveal it and put it into your hand. And then other fairy J resonates, you can draw game plus 200 attack. So she gives 200 attack while uh, Nimue gives 200 defense, and Vivian gives 200 to both. So. Yeah, <laughs> so buffing your entire army disgustingly. We have Grand Cross. Which is a spell chant. Remove target addition or resonator that has or shares the highest attack from the game. And then if your Jay Roller is Alice, Fairy Queen, you may pay two light less to play the God Art this turn. Yeah. yeah this is the sort of, this was the light version of Dystopia that I was talking about. Ah uh, yes. Uh then we have a fire magic stone. Ooh. And a foil, Prishia, Beast Queen in hiding. I like that one. It is nice. Some of the foils just work better with the colours. Mm. The, the, the on the top. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Um, so yeah, so mechanical sprite. Uh, Overlord's Invasion Party. Haven't seen it. Yeah, so this is for Valentina. This also appears in the trial deck, if I remember right. Does it appear in the trial deck? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure. So it's two water, three to three hundred, but it also gains one hundred, one hundred for each water magic stone you control. Very nasty. It can get pretty powerful late game, can't it? Mm. Uh, even if you're only running the minimum, that's an extra 1k. That's a 1300 just for two water. Yeah, well, as well, you might just want to have only water dual stones. So, like, if you're deciding to put anything else in, just make sure it's got a bit of water in it as well. And then, if you're using this with the original Valentina, you can flash it in. Yes, that's true. Mm. Surprise! Flame Dragon Commandant. So this is two will. Commandant, isn't it? Commandant. Isn't it Commandant? Commandant. Isn't that how it's supposed? Oh, probably. I don't know. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good with ranks. <laughs> <laughs> or authority. So it's a 500-500, counts as a human. Um, dragon resonates, you control game plus 200-200. And as long as you control the dragon, this card also has flying. Basically hitches a ride on the dragon. Mm. So it's just tribal race race support for dragons. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. Beat of the Phoenix Wings. So this is a spell chant. It's two will to play. And this card deals 500 damage to each resonator without flying. And if you have Sylvia as your J ruler, it deals 500 damage to each resonator instead. Which could be good or bad. <laughs> dragons are pretty tough though. Yeah, they are. They can suck it. Going like against... <laughs> Going against fairies with that. <laughs> Wipe the He's wiping the fairies. Sacred Beasts Memoria. When this card enters your magic stone area, you can reveal a beast or four sacred beasts from hand. If you don't, though, it enters rested. And then it can uh, rest to produce a wind or one wind and rest. Target four sacred beast or beast. J Resonator gets plus 200, 200 till end of turn. It's all right. Yeah, it goes. It basically you probably want to run four of it in a um, appreciate deck. Oh well, yeah. So, it's good for that sort of thing. And then we got a foil or consuming suspicion. All right, so most of it should be smooth sailing from now on, right? Yeah, we went through nearly all the common, surely. Well, we're going to find out. There's always one suppress. There's always one. There's got to be something we've been missing so far. So shadows memoria. Ooh. And we had a foil progenitor. Uh, so this is one of the new, the other new special magic stones. Oh, sorry, yeah, put that in the wrong place. Uh, so if your Jay Ruler isn't Gurling Twilight Garb or Dark Alice, this enters rested. It ta uh, rests to produce a darkness. And whenever a shadow resonator enters your field, target resonator gains minus 100 attack until end of turn. And this is why all the one drops are good. Yes, because you can trigger things like your shadow memorias. And if you've got multiple of these... It's always nice. Oof. Uh, we haven't seen the match stick girl actually, have we? I think she's a super rare, so. Ah, uh, so we might. Well, we should see her in this box, hopefully. It'd be nice to. So we've had Unyielding Flame to Memoria. So we had almost all basic magic stones in the first lot, and now it's all the Memorias. If your opponent's life is exactly 4,000, this card enters your magic stone area rested. Uh, you can rest to produce a fire, or rest if target resonator would deal damage this turn, it deals that much plus 200 instead. Sort of like um, uh, Mylist's um, magic stone, isn't it? 
He has his own magic stone? I didn't. Oh, of course, because he's a six sage. Yeah. I haven't read about the six sage magic stones much. Fair enough. I want a four drop of each. So. so, yeah, it's basically just producing more damage. That'd be good in a mono red, mono fire deck. There's also an, uh, a field edition that does the same, similar. Oof. So you can get some nasty power going. Um, so, yeah. As I said, we've seen Ooh, ooh a lot of the uh, cards. Once again, I started saying that we've seen everything. <laughs> Can we get something new? Galahad, the son of the god. So, is this a reprint? Yeah, new, new artwork. artwork? Yeah. yeah. Uh, too well to play. 400, 400. It's a knight of the round table. Whenever it attacks, you gain 400, li uh, 500 life. When this card is put into a graveyard from the field, rest, target, resonate, your opponent controls. Always nice. But the five, 500 life, when he attacks, it... Uh, takes place so you can use Glorious Castle Town to make him a 700 700 mm -hmm. as he's attacking. That's so. good. Ah, Cadera Born Dragon. Four world play, it's an 800 800. It's a dragon with flying, good, and swiftness, good. <laughs> so it's an 800 that can immediately attack you. Mm. That sounds fair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Barrier of Shadows. This is an interesting rare, so it's a one drop uh, addition field. Your opponent has to pay one more to play Judgment or God's Art abilities, and your opponent pays one more to play Regalia's Activate abilities. I am running four of these in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not quite that, but... This it's is... only a one drop thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, no, this is very good against a lot of the... Uh, a lot of decks, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Artemis as well might be one to look out for because that's currently in very competitive decks. Mm -hmm. So making them pay more for it is always nice. Yeah, I think it's a good way to try and answer some of the J Ruler heavy um, decks. Just to make things that little bit more expensive means they're more limited in choices. Mm. So do, do, do that card. Uh, yeah. I got it right. You, you confused me. <laughs> so, we're ripping through these packs now. We got two Arthurs. Yay. <laughs> is that all that matters? Yeah, basically. The Arthurs. Actually, no, what would matter most is if we got a full up. Oh. Uh, I guess that'll do, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> that would do. So, we've had a Valentina, which is cool. It's always That's good. The second one. Yeah, well, the first one. The first one was an amazing god pack. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. We got one of those on camera. That makes me so happy. We always get the lucky stuff. What about my box? My box is going to have nothing in it now. Probably. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, Percival. Oh, oh, some interesting stuff. So we got Percival, the Seeker of Holy Grail. So is this, again, a reprint? We're very different, aren't we? Very different. Very different. Um, so it's a 200, 200, one drop. It's a Knight of the Round Table. When it enters the field, reveal the top five cards of your main deck. Put Regalia or Knight of the Round Table from among them into your hand, and the rest go on the bottom of the main deck in any order. Plus, banish this card, prevent all damage that would be dealt to target J Ruler or Knight of the Round Table until end of turn. This works really well with um, King Arthur, because some people, because he's so big, might only want to run two or three, maybe even one, I don't know. So her to be able to sift through the deck to find him. And, and also prevent the damage that happens to him. Exactly. Good. This is the match girl. Hey, the little match girl. So it's two drop. Two drop fairy tale. 600, 600. That's already good for two. Mm. Two different awakening abilities. First one is X. When this card enters your field, search your main deck for it to X card named magic match stick. Reveal them, put them into hand. And also X, when this card enters your field, put X target cards named Magic Max Stick from your graveyard into your hand. And then discard a card named Magic Max Stick. This card deals 400 damage to target J Resonator. As you can see, it's very good. <laughs> it is good. And also the Match Stick gives a swiftness and first strike as well. So you can attack with it and then remove it. Ah, yes. Mm. So, yeah. It's almost like a little mini strategy to itself, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure if he specifically fits in anything. <coughs> no, I don't, think there's, I don't think there's any particular Ooh. shell it goes in. Although the one of the Alice cards from the previous set was part fire, so maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But I'm sure she'll find a home. Maybe she'll get more support. There's magic. magic. Maybe she'll get more support 
or something that fits her in the next set. Mm. Um, then we've had that. It's, oh! <laughs> That's very nice. All Full up shiny. little match girl. That is very shiny. So. Oh, mucking cards over. Booster wrappers everywhere. You might have to give me a hand with this now because we're going through so many. We've gone through so many cards. <laughs> It's actually just going to be me opening boosters for about 10 minutes, I think, <laughs> at this rate. Which isn't exactly the most exciting things to watch. Ooh, Lancelot. Oh, With his sex change. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Lancelot, the Knight of Mad Demon, is 2 drop. 600, 600. Swiftness. As you choose a card to attack, you must choose this card, if able. And when this card attacks, if this card's attack is a thousand or more, this card deals 700 damage to target resonator. And then you can pay a red uh, fire to give this card plus 100 attack until end of turn repeatedly. So, this is really fun with Ami no Habikiri, because give it to him, or her, depending on which one you're playing, <laughs> um, puts her at the 1000-1000, so she can deal the 700. And also, because it's still her dealing the damage, you get to deal that, both those damages to your opponent. Ooh. Yeah. That's so rude, I'm going to put that here. Um, just note we have the Dark Arla there because it was slipping out my hands. But we got a Phoenix, the Flame of the World. So this is another of the 12 Apostles. It's 4 drop, 900, 900. Flying, when it enters your field, it deals 300 damage to each resonator your opponent controls. So a bit of a board wipe there. And when this card is put into a graveyard from your field, you may pay two. If you do, put this card into its owner's field. Deal 300 more. Oh, I've killed it. It's coming back. Oh, no. Oh, imagine this with Guinevere. Oh, <laughs> oh, that is, that is, that is a good call. Mm -hmm. That's... I'm not playing him, unfortunately. But... <coughs> Oof. I, you should. <laughs> so... There we go. You've discovered a little combo, which I'm sure everyone already knew and had Probably. thought of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, invasion ship, Golden Hind. So this is a one-drop addition field. You can choose not to recover this card during the recovery phase. So rest and pay two. Rest target resonator, and then it doesn't recover during the recovery phase as long as this stays rested. So rest something, keep it there. Mm. But it still can stand back up by other effects. Yes. Oh, we have a um, Shadow's Remoria in foil. Very nice. I don't oh. know which part to put that in. Oh, and a file. A foil final word. I didn't know you could get two foils. Yeah, apparently you can. That's really nice. I like that. That is nice in foil. It's going in my deck. Foil. <laughs> the all foil deck. Nah, I don't have that much money. <laughs> uh, rewriting laws? New. Yes, finally a new card. Spell chant, it's two to play. Magic stones you control gain, produce one of any of the attributes, one with of any attribute, until end of turn. Recover up to two magic stones you control, draw a card. So basically, play it for free, draw a card, <laughs> play whatever you want. Indeed. <laughs> you can't complain, can you? <laughs> Might work if you've already J activated pressure. Maybe. Because uh, you've used a God's Arts ability, probably, if you've done that. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Because it's only a normal ruler side that allows you to tap anything. Oh, and the foil one in there as well. <laughs> tap anything for um, uh, Sacred Beasts, isn't it? Yes. But the idea is that once you've done the God's Art, you play a load of them out, and that should be sort of like... You're doing it because you're ending the game. Okay. I, that's how I've been playing it anyway. I always felt that's how... She should be played, which is... Oh, very nice. She should be played with the intention of doing your God's Art when, you know, okay. when you've declared final turn. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh. Sorry. Mr. Camera decided to uh, lose focus. Ah, we have... Vedvolnir, 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 a razor of wind. So it's a beast with um, 700, 700. It has an evolution ability, pay one and discard a beast. As long as it has an evolution counter, it gets plus 300, 300 and target attack. 
so it becomes a thousand thousand target attack and whenever an evolution counter is put on this card, search your main deck for a card named Drop of Yggdrasil, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle the deck. So you mentioned this earlier when we saw Drop of Yggdrasil. Yeah. So it That's goes and finds it. drop itself. Mm. And look at all these grand birds obviously flying in the sky without With, flying. Without flying. <laughs> That's a bit of an oversight. Oh, we've had a Schrodinger's as well. And a Foil Glorious Castle Town. Yeah, I have noticed that. There seems to be one of the small faults with Force of Will. There seems to be a lot of... Um, there's a lot of birds that don't have flying. Maybe they just don't fly high enough. Yeah, that's not a bad call, actually. It's wrong, but it's <laughs> not a bad call. It's probably more for game balance purposes rather than anything. It's to, you know, stop there being quite so many flies in the game because they can be a bit awkward to deal with. Um... However, it just doesn't make that much sense to not have them. Just don't make them birds if you don't want flying. <laughs> <laughs> the simple answer. <laughs> In fact, the only one that gains flying through evolution of those birds is the one that's like standing. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that isn't mid-flight. Um, so yeah, Excalibur. Oh, oh Gwain. Gwain, the Knight of the Sun. Have we seen Gwain? Nope. So, is this another reprint? Yeah. Plus two, uh, sorry, it's a two drop, 300, 300, 300, 700, Knight of the Round Table. Other Knights of the Round Table you control get plus 200, 200, and whenever this card attacks or blocks, rest target resonator. I like how all the other Knights are in a sort of attacking mode, and he's just like, hey baby. <laughs> hey. I'm the Knight of the Sun. <laughs> Wanna go crusade? <laughs> 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 so yeah. I remember facing off against Short Gawain quite a few times, so I I don't like him. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. He buffs all of them and then and you rests all your guys. Yeah, so you attack and then I can't defend anything. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> Final forfeit. There we go. Ooh. Oh, Dark Rizard, the dying shadow. So he's a eight hundred eight hundred resonator. Uh, Shadow slash seven kings with uh, for a three drop. He has stealth. You control three or more shadow resonators. And when this card enters your field from a chance down by area, you may banish another resonator. And if you do, your opponent discards a card and banishes a resonator. And for a uh, three drop for an 800, 800 isn't bad at all. Yeah. And, and Faria can boost him. And that, it's just that nice stealth ability, isn't it? Yeah. So the problem with stealth is it's a bit, a bit slow, isn't it? It can be, yeah. So you've got to set him up, really. Um, that was the first. One. That was the very first card we did. It's so long ago. Um, high ground, which is a lie. Um, we are almost there, people. What's the hate? <laughs> no hate, just misguided love. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to opening uh, opening up my box soon. Building my Valentine, Valentina deck. Oh, a Full Art Sacred Beasts Memoria. That's pretty. The Full Art Stones always look really nice. Mmm. They can get in the special pile. So. I know you're not going to like it, but I'm also going to be building angels. Oh, yes. I think it'll just be fun. It'll be a nice, fun little deck to play, uh, to build. Uh, the only. Oh, Barrier Flame. Mmm. Um, oh, and a Flaming Wyvern. So, Barrier of Flame, one we haven't seen, I believe. No, we haven't. So, it's an addition field, uh, two to play, and if a normal spell you control would deal damage, it deals that much, plus 200 instead. Ah, this is, you mentioned this earlier when we saw the stone. Mm. Um, sorry, the addition. Uh, was it an addition or a stone? It was a stone. So, so yeah, another plus bonus damage, so... Fire is getting some good support in this for dealing a lot of damage. Mm. Thunder's going to become even more valuable. <laughs> uh, and then we have Flaming Wyvern, who we saw much earlier. Bit of fun. Mm. I feel like they're going to make some angels soon, though. They'll they probably make a couple. Be. Why? <laughs> and it's nice. I mean, even though they've only put one in the set, they have still put Cthulhu in the set. I'd, I'd like to have seen one or two more cards with Cthulhu. Mm. Ooh. Oh, there he is. Oh, Ooh. full art Percival. There we go. Interesting. It'd be a shame <laughs> if that went missing. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
On another note, we have Ziz, the bird that envelops the sky. Um, it's 500-500, two wind attribute, uh, two, wi two wind world to play. Resonator, 12 Apostles Beast. Its evolution costs four. But as long as there's one or more counters on it, it gets 300, 300 and flying. And when you put an evolution counter on it, you can put an evolution counter on target resonator with no evolution counters on it. Mm -hmm. So you effectively are paying two evolutions for one. Because you get to put one on another one. And then you can put one on another one if you give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> so... I've got a chain attack. Chain, well, chain ability. Yeah. So yeah, he's kind of cool... I, I'm look, I want to see someone try and build a beast deck and see what you know, see how it looks when it's all constructed whole. Mm. So see how the evolutions quite work actually, you know, outside of the paper crafting. Just takes a lot of setup, really. Yeah. This is what I'm worried about. It might take too long. Yeah. Ah, Hera, the goddess of Jerus, but Jerusy. Getting worse at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been here so long. <laughs> goddess of jealousy. So she's a. Uh, goddess 500 500 two drop when this card enters your field you may destroy target regalia with total cost zero if you do draw a card good bit of um, removal for regalias because again nothing really targets them mm. this set is introducing that so Valentina um, players love this lady I was about to say Valentina flash in your opponent's turn blow up those regalias mm. um I'm going to want four of those. Um, we've got another change to the world there. Ooh. And a Pride of Knights. We're getting down to it. Last two boosters. Last two. So, there we go. So, we're going through the commons. So, I'm pretty certain we've seen all the commons and uncommons. Um, ooh, foil. Oh, nice. Another foil. So, this is our final booster. Uber rare. Mm. <laughs> with a god pack as well with a god pack as well come on yeah, we can live the dream is, uh, <laughs> a bit doubtful <laughs> have faith believe believe in the heart of the cards uh, oh, yes, basically. Uh, no. <laughs> but we did get a foil barrier of shadows yeah. as our last one <sighs> and breathe there we go that is a box opening for the Force of Will, the Twilight Wanderer. What do you think of the set as a whole, just quickly? Great. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good night. But no. we didn't get a full art after, so we may as well just... <laughs> just scrub the whole lot. <laughs> I like the set. It's good. It's added some interesting cards in, like I said, just mentioned about the fact that you've got the anti-regalia. Mm. You've got some more cards that answer certain things that the game I felt needed. We've seen some support for old stuff, even if it's only one or two cards, it's still supporting older stuff. Um, it's always worrying when you get a brand new set, especially as the game starts to become quite popular, and there's no support for the old guys. They yeah. just get ignored, so it's nice to see a little bit creeping through, even if it's only a small amount. I quite like the Void support. Yeah, that's like it's cool. Void is becoming its own thing, really. Which it should. It should never just be relegated to the leftovers. It should have its own thing. So, <coughs> cough, sorry. So yeah, there we go. Lots of comments. <laughs> but yeah, we pulled a god pack, which is amazing. Lots of full arts, which is gorgeous. Good chunk of foils in there as well. Um, yeah, so let us know what you think of this set. I think it's a good set. Mm. Um, overall, there's some cool stuff in there. And I'm looking forward to building that new Valentina deck, like I said. So any suggestions for that, let me know. All the rulers in this are really cool. Yeah, they're... they're I'm I'm gonna work on Valentina first, okay, and then I'll look at the others afterwards. Which you need to get the previous ones as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. So remember, everything you've seen here today can be bought and traded on our website, BigOrbitCards.co.uk. I really hope you've enjoyed watching as much as we've enjoyed making this video. Um, that's bye from me, James. Uh, Oh, oh, you're Simon. Sorry, I'm Simon. <laughs> ah, the identity crisis. <laughs> Bye from me, James. No, you're Simon now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, remember to like and subscribe. Join us later. We'll be doing more unboxing videos for things like Force of Will, including the new trial decks. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.